Say hello to the new SwimOutlet.com. Enhanced navigation, larger, higher resolution imagery, more filtering and search capability so you can find what you need faster. As always, low price guarantee and free shipping on $49. The redesigned SwimOutlet.com. Dive in, say hi. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Now, in the Finis Monitor today, we have an interview by Jeff Cummings with Katie Hoff from the Arena Grand Prix in Mesa, Arizona. Now, this was Katie's first senior level meet since racing at the Olympic Trials in 2012. As she shares how it feels to be back and how her training differs now than from years ago. Let's take a look. All right, here with Katie Hoff. First of all, Katie, welcome back. It's good to see you racing again. Thank you. So why did you choose this meet for, uh, I guess, your first senior level meet since trials? Um, I just think it worked out really well timing-wise. Um, I'd done a couple short course meets um, before to kind of get the racing feeling back. And um, we'd done enough long course um, since it, the girls did NCAAs to, for me to feel confident enough to swim long course, you know, long course meet. Um, so yeah, just the timing worked out great. So how did it feel to, to get up and, and race today, you know, against people that, you know, you've been racing against yeah. for a while, just not for a, not for a while? Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was crazy. Like, I was, I swam the 100 free um, in the B final, and I got up, and I was walking by the line, and I swear I slapped, like, seven people's hands. So I was like, oh, I love this person, and this person, and this person. So it was a lot of fun, and it was fun kind of starting to meet with some events, like 100 fly, that I no, don't normally do. So it kind of helps take off the nerves and just like let me smile and have a good time. So you went double of five in the hard fly. I think you surprised a lot of people. Did it surprise yourself? Yeah, I actually wasn't expecting um, to go that fast. And of course, now I raised the bar. So tonight I was like mad because I went double oh nine. But um, yeah, anytime I went double oh, um, even like four or five years ago, I was happy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the start to the meet and I'm excited for the Tinder Free tomorrow. You know, everybody's talking about Michael and making his comeback and, you know, how you know, his emotional state was. What was, were, did, you, did you have any butterflies that were more than usual today? For sure, for sure. I mean, I was kind of trying to know that they were going to be there, but, I mean, the whole point of all of this coming back is to just have fun and enjoy racing. So I'm like, okay, don't get too nervous. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job of that. After I finished the 100 free, that was kind of like getting the first one out of the way, and now I feel relaxed and good about it. So, so you said you you wanted to come here and enjoy racing. You think you've gotten that point today? I think I have, yeah. I actually, I actually stopped waving and smiling to the crowd for my races when my name was announced because I was so nervous. And tonight was the first time I smiled and waved to the crowd. So that was like a big deal for me. So, yeah, it's good. All right, we got to go away from the pool for a little bit. That big uh, proposal yeah. you had on Sunday. How do you feel being a fiance now? Oh my God, it's amazing. I wish, I, I hate not being able to wear my ring because I'm so scared it's going to get lost or scratched or messed up but yeah I'm still kind of on that high and it was hard to leave him on Tuesday when we just got engaged Sunday but yeah he's watching from home and um, it'll be fun to come back and start planning everything I still can't believe it. <laughs> what is it like to I mean you know he's not a swimmer does he you know kind of he was an athlete but does yeah. he comprehend kind of the life of a swimmer? He does he does a really good job of it um, just in terms of knowing splits and knowing um, swimming in general so so he's definitely done his homework and um, you know that means a lot to me just because that's been my whole life so I wish I could do, I wish I could say the same for football because I'm still <laughs> not very good with that but I'm trying so. so after Olympic trials and you didn't make the Olympic team were what was your emotional state you know did you watch the Olympics at all yeah it was really hard um, I did watch because you know so many of my friends were there and I wanted to still stay, stay connected and be supportive but you know it was definitely difficult and I kind of tried to just like throw myself into school and distract myself doing other things I became a spin instructor <laughs> random um, so yeah it was kind of a process of a whole year and just being able to be at a pool first and be like okay and then you know going to Dubai um, with the junior team was what really helped me a lot just watching them their excitement their passion and watching them racing kind of being like wish I was out there racing too so that's that's really what did it for me and then I was in September I started at Miami. So. 
it, was it rough getting back into that hard training at all? Yeah, it definitely wasn't fun the first, you know, couple months, but um, I kind of hit a groove and, um, you know, feel like I, I really like the training that we do there and um, I love my weight program, so it's kind of just all fallen into place over the last six months. Well, you had some, you know, obviously worked very hard in your younger years with Paul Yetter and then out in California uh, with Sean Hutcherson. How is, how is what you're doing now different? Um, you know, it's, it's definitely, not, I'm not like cranking out seven to 8,000. And I think in part is that because I'm not doing 400s, I'm doing 200s and 100s. Um, but it's definitely, you know, I still race hard, like a race set twice a week. I still do, you know, kind of an endurance thing type thing. It's kind of a similar structure, but it's just more tailored to I'm 24 now and I'm not 15. So, um, you know, it's definitely a hard adjustment for me, you know, if I'm doing like, am I doing enough? Yeah. But um, I really have confidence in it and it's going really well. So. Well, that's a good point. You say you're 24 now. Does yeah. it feel weird to say that you're so 24? Weird. So weird. I know. I'm like, I'm getting old. I'm one of the old ones now. What is going on? Um, but yeah, it's just definitely an adjustment. And, you know, I started working a lot more on my underwater. We do a ton of like really hard underwater sets, you know, having to kick halfway in the middle of the set. And I think that's something that I feel like is hopefully going to be a strength, um, if not soon. So. Do you have any expectations or goals for this summer at all? Um, I have a couple, but, you know, uh, I'm always one to kind of keep it close to my heart. Um, probably only my coach and my fiance know, but, um, yeah, I'm just kind of really taking a meet at a time. and. Um, that's the way I need to do it to just continue to have fun. If I get to goals and expectation -y, it, it will stop me. So. Well, it's, it's great to see you back here, Katie, and we're, we're just looking forward to uh, just seeing you continuing to race whatever happens. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for joining us. That's it for today's Morning Swim Show. I'm Tiffany Elias. Join us again tomorrow.